Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I hope the evening's serving you well. Bear with me a moment as we make sure the mic is on feed but not shoved in my face. Which I am making a mistake of by uh, going off the delay on my camera instead of, you know, the actual thing. But hopefully everyone's doing well tonight. Hopefully the balances are already good. You know, you tease me about it, but there's only so much I can do with the ring light. I can go... Actually, no, that's as dark as it goes. I can make myself blue. I can make myself really, really bright. Or I can go with the yellow light that's a little more flattering. So... It's something we'll have to keep working on. But when we turn off the uh, backlight, yeah, that's on my list. It's not as urgent. I have some, some general, I have plans for these walls and everything, which will help change up the lighting scheme and everything. Um, it's just going to be a matter of being able to do them. But uh, anyway, when we left off, I will click on the right screen. So I actually activate a game instead of Clicking random buttons on editing. Alright, so we left off in the tropical island caves. As you can see, my stats have not changed. What's up? I did what? Chat is concerned about something. No, we rescued the princess from the Dreadnought. We got back to the Dreadnought. We got told to go find the Kingdom of Deist. We uh, went to the ship, the place that normally has a ship, and thought we'd just be recruiting that one. And a random pirate chick said, We're going to the exact same place you are. What a coincidence. Come along for free. And, and we believed her. And uh, then she had her crew try and rob us, and we murdered them all, so she gave us her ship and joined our team. And that is Layla down here. Who I'm guessing, in this being a Star Wars game, is supposed to be our Han Solo. But yeah, that's where we are. And then uh, there's no directions on where Deist is, it's just kind of... Uh, it, it was literally just a case of, good luck, figure it out, you need a, uh, a boat. And um, for lack of anything better, we just started sailing around, and I found this island in the middle of nowhere with a cave, so decided to go check it out. The monsters were not drastically overpowering. These guys are a hassle because they are magic damage only. And so I've been avoiding them, but otherwise I've, I can handle everything in here, so. As we continue to get attacked by them, this game. It could be an old world Sario. Where she stayed the assassin and never became a good guy. Ooh, Scourge Tome. Alright, so these guys we can handle. Except for her, she's kind of useless. I will say she is mostly useless purely due to my own fault. Um, you know, we, we, we knew we were going to lose Gordon. And so we took all his gear off. And then as three of us, I was running around doing some healing and, and some buying some stuff. And I sold off all of our spare weapons, including a really nice dagger. Um, on the premise of, eh, no one really uses daggers. She, of course, is maxed out skill-wise in daggers. Um, so she is now, now caught up to where she starts in daggers with the staff. Which is still two points behind everyone else.
Alright, so far we found a blind and a scourge tome. These guys are new, so let's see how we handle against them. And they're still alive, so this might become dangerous. We'll have to see how this works. Because I, I, I also established... Okay, that's not bad. But we want to use Asuna in combat. Please don't die. Damn. Um, we established that we're not supposed to be here yet. But it's also a case of... Um, chat looked for me and no spoilers but just said you can go here it has to be cleared at some point but you know there's nothing you're not gonna spoil anything or break sequence or do anything weird by being here so if we can handle it we're already here we might as well figure it out you certainly like hitting like a truck don't you I find it funny how the default of making her a mage has turned her into, like, this just pummeling monk. While well, dual wielding shields. I feel like we should still be leveling up her magic, so let's go ahead as wasteful and as less effective as this is. Although it's kind of funny, the more I'm playing this and the more I'm looking at it, I almost feel like if I if I ever do another playthrough in the future, I don't think I'd bother with the mage. Um, I think I would do some base development of her attack spells so she has a few, but I think I'd probably pump her up as a white mage as well. of spell tomes of varying sorts. The frogs are pretty cool. So Sario's long lost mom is a Han Solo knockoff from another world. <laughs> you and mine, Kitsu, we have another, I'm assuming, problem, given as the exact same um, name as the last problem joined, just with some capitalization in O's and zeros switched around. I will take a brief point to say I'm deeply disappointed in as much as I hate the phrase, you people, you people. honestly, either your crook's trying to steal people's identity or money or, or whatever your gimmick is. In which case, you're bad people and don't need to be here. Or your stupid kids goofing off, in which case... Yeah. Sorry, I hit 40 a while ago. My patience for goofy kids is... The line is right there where you stop being good-natured or just learning and become malicious. Anyway, back to the game. Just 
So all in all, I'm curious on other people's thoughts about the Pixel Remasters in general. Like, I know I've only been playing two, but I, I, I left one off because uh, be be between my buddy playing it already and between uh, just I've played it a lot as a kid growing up and doing things. Um, but I'm kind of curious how it goes, because I've heard, I've heard good things about the new one. I've heard good things about... Actually, I'm repeating myself. I heard good things about 1, and I've seen some good stuff on 1. I've been really enjoying 2, and I didn't think I would, given what it was, so that's cool. And haven't heard any word on 3 one way or the other yet. And 3 I'm going to be curious about simply because we never got 3 in America. Like, 3 was in, was Japan only. And it got remade for the 3DS. But when they remade it, aside from just... It, it was the 3D model. So it's the same as, like, the Final Fantasy IV and the After Years remakes with the three-dimensional pieces. So it wasn't, like, an update of the core game. But they also added plot. Um, the game originally... Oh, that's not nice of them. Uh, from what I understand, the game is another blank slate. It, it's the first time they did the job system, but it is essentially a plot line similar to the first game. And, uh... Yeah, so it's a blank slate, whereas the 3DS remake gave them names, developed Act 1 a little bit more to give it a characterization and plot and personality to the people. Um, so... I'll be curious to give it at least a little bit of a try. I can't say for sure if I will do a full playthrough. The reason for that being that I don't know how long this one's going to take. And uh, it was announced that Final Fantasy IV Pixel Remaster goes live on the 8th. So that means we have two weeks. So it is my hope that we'll beat this one. And then I'd like to at least start three. I don't know if we'll stream it fully all the way through. If we play it and it's a blast, we'll keep going. But in theory, I, I'm kind of hoping that we'll take a look at it. We'll kind of give some feelings on it. But when September 8th rolls around, we're going to hop over to Final Fantasy IV. when I try and cure her, she just goes all out and blasts things. Three is the first job system, so it's the first storyline where we have the crystals are breaking and they give you their power so you can go forth and learn jobs from them and save them. Um, I don't know any more than any about that because I played the 3DS remake, but even that was still fairly... Go to the next town. The crystal broke. You didn't get there in time. Here's a bunch of jobs. Go on to the next town. So, like, it, it's kind of a, an evil empire like this one. Um, four is the one you started with me. So, check them out! Uh, yeah. You want to... Oh, that's four. That's the one that comes out in... Uh, Why can I not talk tonight? Uh, four is the one that comes out September 8th. Five is where they actually started fixing the job system. And it's a pretty solid one, but people didn't really get it because it didn't show up until a bunch of, you know, the port remakes. We're going to deal with Kane and Cecil. That is... I have to say it's probably my second favorite Final Fantasy because 6 is just so much better. Um, 
and six is such a detailed and bigger plot line. You haven't played six. You don't. Have, you have to have the judgment when you've actually seen it. Um, but four is four is the four is not the first one I played. One is the first one I played. Seven's not my favorite. Seven's good. Like I, I'm not one of those people that bashes on it for ooh, it's popular. Boo. But I don't like four as much as I like others. Or seven, I mean. It's a solid game. It's a cool game. Um, I like the characters. I like the plot. I think it's kind of cool to do this whole we're eco-terrorist thing. Um, I am adamantly convinced that the original plotline, Jenova's the villain, not uh, Sephiroth. I am fairly positive he's a puppet being controlled the whole time. And because he was a pretty boy and fan slashed onto him, the story got retconned later on to deliberately make him the the main bad. I mean, you can even see bits of it being weird in uh, Advent Children, where it's like, we have these three kids... And if you give them Genova cells, they'll turn back into Sephiroth? Shouldn't the... the I don't know what these are. These are new. Um, shouldn't, you know, shouldn't it turn them into Genova? Shouldn't it transform them into the original? I'm not knocking it. I love Advent Children. I don't even mind Sephiroth being the real villain. I just... I can f read the plot fairly well, usually. And that definitely comes as something that got added in later. <laughs> Does kind of look like a Rhyhorn, doesn't it? But no, six is my overall favorite, but back to what I was originally saying, four is the first one I played with the story. And it's honestly, it's the first RPG. I played with an actual plot, so 4 always has this special spot for me, because also I was too poor to buy it. Um, so I never owned 4 as a kid. It was a case of uh, I would go rent it at Blockbuster, dating myself there, and I got good enough at it that I could beat it in two and a half days if that's all I was doing for the weekend. And it was one of my favorite stories, and it was a game, so I could actually play it. So, like, it, it was like me rereading one of my favorite books. I would get it every couple of months, and I would sit down, and on a weekend I didn't have anything else going on, and I would chill in my room pretty much Friday night after school until Sunday when we had to take the game back. And it would just be like, no, I'm playing this game, and I'd get through it again, and do the story again, and enjoy it, and... and you know, I have it pretty well memorized because of that. Um, but yeah. And it's the first one because we never got this guy. No, the games I didn't get cheap. I was renting it for three ninety nine or whatever it was. But, you know, my allowance back then was $5. So I could rent Final Fantasy on a weekend where I had nothing else going on. I could rent Final Fantasy 2, and I could buy myself a, a Dr. Pepper, because my mom didn't really like anything but Pepsi, and my dad didn't care about soda, so I never had Dr. Pepper as a kid, hence why it's my favorite. Yeah, and those were the fun moments, like every once in a while you'd rent the game again and be like, oh look, my save is still there. Hey Squeaks, how you doing? We are currently discussing Final Fantasy IV being a... Uh, the special spot. Uh, mostly discussing that because the game comes out in uh, two weeks on the 8th. And so we'll definitely be diving into that one once it comes out on this Pixel Remaster, which is... It, it's what you're seeing here. Yep, this is Final Fantasy... This is... It's prettied up. So it's, it's like streamlined, the backgrounds are a little bit prettier. But this is the original Final Fantasy II for the Nintendo. Oh, 
Oh, as a complete side note, I uh, looked into Final Fantasy 1 because there is this lovely argument, not argument, but like joking argument, um, that the white mage in Final Fantasy 1 now flips people off from the victory pose, like when they're doing the da 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 da, they flip the bird. And I argue that it's. It, it looks like it. I'm like, I'm not arguing that it doesn't look like it, and you can't read it that way. But I was like making the argument no, I'm sure it's supposed to be like them doing this or this, depending on what it is. So I started a Final Fantasy 1 playthrough that I'm just messing around with on my off hours. Because, again, I've played that game to death. I don't. I don't think I could stay enthused in a full stream of it, especially when other people I follow are already playing it. But I wanted to mess around with it. And so I made a uh, thief. And the thief very clearly does do this when he wins. It's very clearly his first finger. You can see the thumb and you can see three fingers down. And it's him definitely going, yeah. And so like at that point, it's like, nope. At, at that point, there is no argument that the white mage is flipping the bird because it's a completely different hand sprite. So not only is the white mage flipping the bird, but the white mage is doing it on purpose and the graphic programmers had to have done it on purpose. Look, more monsters. If I remember right, you guys don't like cold. Oh, there's apparently, like, a laundry list of, uh... things programmers just did for the heck of it in these old games. Like, it's actually one thing I do know about this one. At some point in the game, we are going to have the ability to get a spell called Ultima. Uh, in fact, the plotline, if you're watching the stream, uh, when the king died, he gave us all orders. Like, he told us to go out and stop the Empire. He told the Gordon character to guard the princess and the people. And he told uh, Minwoo to go unlock Ultima. So apparently Ultima is glitched. It is built in a way that you cannot power it up yourself. Because, like, the way the magic power-up in this works is the more you use it, the stronger it gets. That That's not how Ultima apparently works. You can't just use it a bunch and get it strong. It's just there. And apparently its strength is based on how much your mastery is of every other magic. So the only way it can be useful is if you just grind out every spell for no reason. Now, why do I say this? Because it wasn't on purpose. It, it's a bug. And when it was originally found, they went to the coder that did it and said, hey, this is wrong, can you fix it? And the coder said, you know, I kind of like the idea that you go through this hell-bent quest to unlock the ultimate sealed magic that got sealed away eons ago because it was too powerful. And technology and magic have just improved and it's just worthless. I think that's funny. We're gonna leave it in. Which, this came, came out first, but it reminds me of like, if you watch Buffy Season 3, they got the uh... They, they had like some, a monster called the Judge. That was this big, scary, very frightening, very, ooh, it's going to be a big threat. No weapon forged by mortals can stop him. Um, and they sh shoot him with a bazooka. <laughs> and he just dies. And it's just like literally a case of when they said no weapon could stop him, we were using swords. The monster did not take into account explosives. Um, Kitsu, which new purchase did you mean? Because if you mean the one 
wardrobe wise, I wasn't really going to announce that. I was just going to pull it out for a stream once it's available and then have it come back and forth. Honestly, I'm trying to take inspiration from what some of my other streamer buddies do and just kind of have a little more theme. Plus, you pointed out I should try and cosplay more. I will as soon as I have it. It's not here. Alright, so on the good news, the cave is actually fairly straight. On the bad news, I've gone completely the wrong direction that goes all the way to the treasures, and I have to make my way all the way back up to the first floor. Or at least the second floor. Yeah, I ordered it yesterday on Wim. So Kitsu and I have been talking, and she was like, you should really theme it a little bit more, you should get some costumes and fit character. Because we used to be cosplayers before the pandemic, so we should bring that back. And I might. I might. If I can be happy with things, I will happily pull out other cosplays too. But yeah, we got one that fits the Final Fantasy story. And so we're definitely. We ordered that. It'll be here. Honestly, part of it'll be here Monday, and the other part of it's not going to be here till like the week. Till like right before I start Final Fantasy IV. So that's probably when it's going to come out. I am not a whiz. Well. Arguable? We'll see. I am not a Gandalf, if that's what you're thinking. And I'm not doing the Black Mage. Besides, I've already cosplayed a Black Mage. We even got in the news with that. I don't remember which places I went through or not. Did I go down this path? Actually, wait, yeah, I did, because this is the way back up, so. I'm just glitching myself out, don't mind me. Yeah, if you go, I, I cannot remember what it is. I can't even remember what year it would be. Um, would it be 2014? Is it that old? But one of the uh, one of the years at PCC, we went as a uh, I was a black mage. Oh, Kitsu was a white mage. And um, okay, this is the dead end. I was a white. I was a black mage. Kitsu was a white mage, and then our little one was a uh, red mage. And someone randomly interviewed us with the challenges of having a kid at con. And despite the fact that our answer was, well, we come enjoy the quiet day with him, and then he's going to go stay with family, and they're like, we're going to run this story. <laughs> nope, I deliberately... Considering I put the uh, LGBTQ... I put the alphabet... Back in my uh, stream, I feel it's absolutely relevant. For, for what it is worth, I do fully stand that if the series is important to you and meant something to you, the author can't take that away. So, like Harry Potter all you want. Don't, don't support her anymore, but... You know, you already own the books. Go for it. No, I still like Ender's Game, and uh, the the author there is not a good person, to put it mildly. But the story itself is entertaining, and for what it's worth, if we don't have Ender's Game, we wouldn't be getting Wheel of Time, because Ender's Game is the series is the book that Harriet McDougal edited as one of her first projects that shot her into being, like, recognized as one of the best editors in the industry. Which meant that they started, like, letting her do whatever project she wanted, letting her pick books that she wanted to to go with. Which led to her discovering 
a young author that she would eventually marry named Robert Jordan. I've technically got a school. It'll give Jen and uh, Kitsu conniptions because they have bad memories of it, but... You know what? That actually... Before I could do that school, that actually raises an interesting question. Copyright. Now, obviously Dungeons & Dragons is deliberately open source, you're allowed to use it. Like, that's part of the way it's built. And obviously, I can pull out a Frankenstein or a Apocalypse Zombie or a Werewolf, and those are all kind of open. They're common knowledge, they're part of the lore of the world, so to speak. But, how would that apply to more recent things? Like, do we think it would be a copyright infringement? I'm not doing this, but if I ran Freddy Krueger, would that be a copyright issue? Or because I'm acknowledging that it's Freddy Krueger, it's it's someone else's property, I'm just using the character with my interpretation, would it be okay? And, oh look, it's a boss. And the reason I ask this is, uh, the monster in question that Kitsu and Jen hate is from, you know what, I want to give them a shout out and I cannot for the life of me remember the name of the channel, so one second while I look that up real quick. Crypt TV. So Crypt, like a, where you bury people. Uh, but Crypt Space TV um, is a uh, it's a YouTube channel that completely breaks the algorithm. It's not constant. We update at least three times a week to keep up with the algorithm. They do very good quality, uh, modern created um, horror, and so that's actually what I snagged and terrorized them with. Is it's a creature called the Luxi. And the look -see is kind of a Slenderman-esque scary freaking thing that shows up to people who can't let go of tragedy. And it basically leaves a warning saying if you can't let it go, he's going to take something. And yeah. It's really creepy. I recommend you look it up. Out of nowhere, guy says, it's God the Mask. What mask? Ooh, boss fight music. Well, I'm gonna assume these guys are combat oriented, so I'm gonna start off with blink for everyone. And then we're just gonna start hammering on these things. We'll try all three magics to see what works best. And we'll spend a few rounds with Fury and trying to get everyone a little built up. Alright, so Fire did about 60-something. Blizzard did about 60-something. Still like this boss music. Like, it's really solid boss music. Okay, now let's see what Thunder does. Okay, so it's all around 60-something. That's good. All right, and he's, no, he's my healer, so I can't really dump this magic to start blasting. But that definitely means Layla can use the rest of her mana up on Thunder. All right, we're just gonna start pounding one at a time until they go down, hopefully. these things hit like a truck.
But yeah, Crypt TV, a lot of good characters. The, the look sees probably just their most famous successful monster, but they do a bunch. Um, my favorite is Miss Anity, who is a uh, spider demon obsessed with a man and a woman's place in society according to the 50s. And so that, that kind of gives you a hint, but she goes after people like she goes after a, a dad who's trying to be a stay-at-home dad because a man's place is in the job, not in the house. No, not Lolf. Similar idea, like image-wise. Um, goes after a, a ballet dancer who's obsessed over her waist because she's not as rigidly thin as she wants to be, that type of thing. Okay, we've been hammering on this... Okay, there we go. I'm like, we've been hammering on one of them for a while here. Alright, let's give an ether so she doesn't run out of magic. She's out, so... Make sure we don't run out of cures either. And then she's just going to have to go with the melee and hope it works out. No, if you search her, she doesn't really look like a wolf. There's no spider to it. Oh, don't you hit like a... Don't you all hit like bricks. I think the worst challenge about this game's mechanics is uh, that you have to fight your way free of certain behaviors. Like, Furion is a very not great white mage right now, and the reason for that is I have played for so long with the habit being that you try and tough out the fight, you heal as little as possible, you do damage, you end the fight, and then you worry about healing out of combat. The only problem is the only way to get your spirit to go up is to use magic in combat. Specifically white magic in combat. How? So wizard one shot, witch curse one shot, and my last one was a horror house dungeon where all your old characters join together. Yeah, Kitsuin's got a lot of good ideas up her sleeve that are just waiting for the right time to come out. Why are you doing no damage? Say, so I am going to be so sad if we survive this entire cave that we're not really supposed to be in yet. And we have everything we need, and then, oh look, we can't get through the final boss fight. Yeah, Dewey and his, I don't want to be an adventurer. It's like, why are you here?
The sad thing about this boss fight is I'm about to run out of magic with Maria. And we're, we still have one more of these things to go. Yep, we're gonna see... We are out of ethers, say it. No more magic. Now we just have to try and pummel these to death. How much health do you things have? There we go. One left. There's no choice but to punch it until it submits. Ah, that old chestnut. 525,600 Or as one band we like put it, 525,000 choirs have sung this. 525,000 versions were bad. Everyone in rent was dying or homeless. You know, it's funny, I heard the... That lyric set is from Straight No Chaser, by the way. They are an acapella group. I highly recommend them if you like acapella. They uh, redid that song. They've taken out that one. They've added in Hamilton stuff. And oddly enough, they kept in the Les Mis, but they rewrote it to make it that the one guy is just now obsessed. Because now it's like, I'm not over Russell Crowe. Dude, it's been like seven years. I don't care, he was that bad. All right. Monsters! Okay. You found the black mask. Is the black mask... A helmet? It is not. It is a key item. That does... I don't know. Alright. So, real quick. I have a cottage. That looks like a gazebo. <laughs> Had not seen the cottage sprite for this. This game has no sleeping bags or tents. It only has the full out cottage. But, there was one set of stairs I did not go down. So we're going back in real quick just because I want to make sure I didn't miss a chest with something cool in it. That, and unlike earlier, we're not, you know, completely out of magic. Yep, kill the squeaks. I love that these come back in Final Fantasy VI and they throw wrenches at you for no reason. It might be an eth eth ether, but if it's an ether, then that means I'll have used one less ether than I had done now. And I'll get some more experience. You know, since we're just going down one path and back, I need to remember to let her use her magic more, because I don't want her to become a monk. I do want her to be my spellcaster. I forgot that this top room was actually a little bit less dangerous, because that's how I got lured in. 
Because honestly, with the level of uh, some of the monsters down there, especially the ones that only take magic damage, I would have like backed off. But that first level is like, oh, these are the things I fought in the, the, the enemy airship I just blew up, so that's no big deal. Oh cool, fire's up, so let's work on thunder. And we're not going to really worry about Miss Layla because logic dictates she will not be in our party for long. Because that's kind of been how this game is. This game is clearly their first attempt at dealing with uh, the idea of rotating party members. Because it's essentially you have these, you have Fury and Maria and Guy as your party. And then uh, it rotates in and out. We got a white mage, then the white mage decided to stay behind. Then we got a monk, then the monk immediately died. Then we got kind of a spear fighter. And uh, then he left. And then we just got her as a pirate. And we're going to a place with dragoons. Somehow, I can't imagine the game with the first dragoons in the series doesn't give us one to, to mess with. Although now that I think about it, this game doesn't have special commands yet. I think that's actually Final Fantasy III is the first game that has here are actual unique like jump and cover and all the other stuff that we take for granted now. I think this one, like the first game, is just there's fighting magic. So it'll be interesting. One, it's going to be our the look at the first dragoons the game ever did, and two, I don't think they'll jump. That'll, that'll, that'll be weird. I'm not used to having a dragoon actually stab with your spear. Why not? Let's go for it. Let's just blast the magic and see how well it goes. Yeah, kinda. Okay, Blizzard is not something they're concerned with. But it seemed like they didn't have any issue taking thunder damage. Yeah, okay, so. have here? Where you could be from? Oh, uh, that's painful. Ooh, look at your weird face. Why not wear a mask? Ooh, look at your weird face. Why not wear a mask? Why not wear a mask? Why not wear a mask? Oh, look at that. You sell gear? Does that mean you sell something? Ooh! Okay, so it's not an upgrade for him, but...
The only problem is I don't think he has levels or anything but swords, so I'm not going to do that yet. Wow, that's a big hit. Alright, so we got the ruby. Also the ruby. Oh, the axe actually is going to bring him down. But I think we're going to go get a Dragoon. Yeah, mine did too. Did you want to re-up it? Ruby is the same as that, so I'm not going to fix... Why not? Last mask is our treasure. Okay, so essentially this is a place that would tell us where the Black Mask is, if we had not already figured it out, along with some shops. Okay. Well, I'm glad I came down here, because that's, you know, still shops that we have to see. Makes sense. Oh no, killer! F Why do I always forget that does that in this game? So in this game, the teleport spell that gets you out of combat hurts you. Like, that brings you out of the dungeon. I don't know why, but it hurts you. So real quick, let's not have him on Death's Door. So yeah, so now we're back on the actual plot, although we're still kind of blind. Like, literally it's a case of them going, GO TO THIS PLACE! And they don't tell you where it is, other than, you'll need a boat. And, uh... Because you need a boat, my suspicions are it's the place in the upper right. But there are two places I haven't gone. The sea snake? Yeah, I like it. I don't know, I still stand by the point that it was probably supposed to be... Not necessarily that they change what they evolve into, but... Look at a Gyarados compared to a Dragonair, and look at Dragonite compared to Magikarp. Like, that's what I think it was, and I think they messed up somewhere, and then they just didn't want to fix it. But I happen to know there is a town... And I'm now terrified immediately. How uh, hard it heavy? Uh, yep, there we go. <sighs> oh no. Oh. Cockatrices are mythical creatures that their beaks and pecks would turn people to stone. My Asuna is not high enough to fix it. So I'm going to quick save. So I'm going with this is the wrong place to go, but I knew there was a town over here. I saw it when we were flying by with the airship. Oh no, this is interesting. Missidia. Missidia is in Final Fantasy IV. It's the place you steal the water crystal from at the very beginning of the game. Alright, where is our church? I think church is where you fix things. Nope. Alright. So I think I'll just have to go... Okay, there's the item shop. Which one of you has golden needles? Oh, the VVs. All right. Okay. 
you guys don't seem to have anything new. Alright, now that my people are all not dead. Sometime a wizard named Mindu passed through this town on the way to the tower. A statue of go a goddess is enshrined beneath the city. She watches over the crystal rods. Can I just go down here? Statue beams with the beatific spine. Okay, I don't know why it would have anything, but okay. So whatever that is, I don't have a reason to be here yet. On the left. Yeah, I'm sorry if there's background noise chat. Little one is sometimes unhappy with bedtime in general. I'm going to assume, with lack of anyone in here, that this is Minwoo's house. Yep, that's the white ma the black mask. I found that. Okay, we must first collect two masks to do the thing with the ma ultimate magic. All right. Okay, so we're looking for a string of things, which has nothing to do with our current quest. But I already talked to that one. Three artifacts protect the seal of the tower, a white mask, a black mask, and a rod. Let's go ahead and... 283 gil, that's not bad. Let's go ahead and get up to full health. Just we got viciously mauled to death by chickens. Alright. Gear stop! What do you have? Well, now I wish I hadn't bought that other axe. I'm nervous about buying that given how expensive if it is, but I'm sure, like I said, I'm, I feel confident we're getting a Dragoon soon, but we'll come back to that. What's the armor have? All right, so I need four of those. Oh, and we have really... Okay, she's equipped with that. That's cool. And, uh... That kind of makes us broke, but let's go ahead and equip what we can. So he's already got the ice shield. We're going to give him the giant gloves. The knight armor. No change in helmet. You can give her two ice shields. She's already got thief gloves. Alright, let's go with the ogre killer. I'm assuming the ice shield's better than the gold shield. Okay, so gold and ruby are the same. No change there. Alright, let's go ahead and sell off our extra stuff. I know this is always the most exciting part of the game, so... I don't need two of these.
Alright, so we are going to go by that spear. Everyone's got an ice shield, we'll take the one off her for the next guy. I feel like we probably need one more suit of knight armor. And we probably need one more giant glove. And now let's go buy that spear. Which I'm probably overkilling because I could just go find gear, but whatever, I feel good about doing this. And now let's see what I've just nixed myself from being able to buy. Ooh, we got one, two, three, four, five magic shops. We have all of these. We have all of these. Middle guy is clearly going to be the important one. But, um, we don't have any of those except for that one, but I don't really need them yet. Alright, we got life. Alright, so we pretty much do have what we want. Except for, okay, barrier. We're eventually going to want. Wall will eventually want, because that's always fun. That could be really nasty and fun. And holy! Hmm. Alright, so we wouldn't have been able to afford holy regardless, but... Now we at least remember that it's here. Alright, and we're gonna do a quick save. So if we get viciously attacked by chickens again... Not something else. But I don't feel like fireballing things to death, so we're just gonna try and get out of here. Yay! Alright, which means my original theory was right, and that... <coughs> pardon me. Ah, more pirates! Do we... F my real curiosity is going to be, do we find decent swords at some point? Because, like, you think swords would be the main deal? Okay, that's a wall, so... I'm going to need to... Oh, I'm actually going to have to go this way. Alright. It just seems funny. It's like, are, am I being punished for not having my main character pick weapons other than spears, or than swords? Because my monk is doing a lot of damage. Not so much that time. And my guy with an axe is doing good. But my swords are still like, poke. Alright, so my goal, I believe, is right here, which I believe is behind my camera, so I don't think that helped you anyone. But it's in the upper, uh, upper right. Is the only other place on the map I have not been to. The only other place I haven't been to that I know about is, uh, I'm pretty sure the Empire is in the bottom right. Because there's, a, like, a walled fortress town I, I took a chocobo by earlier that I could not get into. I unfortunately don't have one up here with me, otherwise I would. It's a single cough though, I should be okay. Famous last words. One of these days I'll have to get the little buttons and the points set up and have people be able to actually do that. I think it's for our stream elements if I remember right.
is, should be on this island somewhere. I'm just trying to see what I look at. I am not fighting this many of you. Because only guy is actually doing damage to you guys. Continue to skulk around and see if I can see any sign of the civilization. So I know the best place to land. So it's right there. So let's go in this way. I remember you guys. Gotcha. Magic and Guy. Oh, magic's not that great either. We sort of survived. It ran away eventually. We did take out one later on. Somehow I feel like this only went well because of the fact that, for better or worse, he has a um, weapon that's specifically listed as an ogre killer. Definite proof this is where I was supposed to go though because I can handle these fights. Whereas, you know, the other place nearly killed me. Go away, don't come any closer. I'm gonna tell my mom! Is mom going to be a dragon who is going to wreck my shit? What's the big idea? You're not the bad guys? I thought the Empire has sent soldiers after us again. The limerence right in here is sound asleep. Mom says it's gonna die soon. What? When I grow up, I want to be a dragoon just like my dad. I hope my son hasn't caused you any trouble. If he has, I apologize. My husband was a dragoon. The Imperial soldiers killed him along with the rest. We're the only ones left. In the room behind us is the last surviving Wyvern. He seems to be trying to sell, tell us something, but I cannot speak dragon. If only we had one of the pendants, we'd be able to understand it. The cavern north of the Wyvern. Dragoons fought valiantly, but the Empire has no honor. They poisoned the water supply. That comes back in Final Fantasy VI. The Wyvern's use. If there is ever a matter of us not liking... Okay, so it's the same one either way. 
Any reason not to like the Empire? It's like, oh look, they killed a bunch of dragons. Oh, come on now. You can't speak dragon guy, you speak beaver. Speaking of endangered species, here's the horn of a unicorn. And a stun tone, and a stop tome, and a curse tome. I'm finding all kinds of magic. I see a new sword. Thank you. In the meantime, I saw something called a Sage's Wisdom and a few other things I'm curious about. Okay, I'm not sure what those do, but I'll want to hold on to those. So clearly, I'm going north to the cave to try and find a pendant that will let me talk to lizards. Okay. Massive upgrade. Take back my concerns when I'm like, why do I keep finding more and better axes and spears, but not one sword? In the interest of not making myself go broke, Kitsuin, would you care to tell me, uh... When I'm going to need to relieve Layla of her equipment? Oh, I see you. You're happy I helped last time. What? Instructions unclear, hand caught in blender. I feel like that's an inside joke that I should get and I'm not.
Okay, so we got a while. And I guess they curse me. Maybe the dragoons are all dead. Now, this is the first game they're mentioned, and there's a dragon, but... For all I know, Kane is still the first real one we get. Well, I know we get one in... We get the job class of Final Fantasy III, so they'll be there. Hey, that heals. Oh, wait, these are only melee. These are the opposite of the flans. Ow. So I remember back a few playthroughs ago when we all had like 40 something health. I forgot to cure us of the blindness. There's the drain touch. Chiefs. It's fairly solid, nothing major though. Not as bad as the uh, mages. question I have is, why are we out here? Because, like, it was kind of the king's dying wish that you should go seek out the dragoons. They can't all have died. And it's like, well, we sunk we sunk their battleship. Like, their, their big super weapon is gone. Wouldn't now be the best time to, like, let's go attack and take our castle back? Instead, like, you're gonna take your... Which, let's be honest, at this point you're most confident warriors and we're just gonna go wandering off on a boat somewhere. Hope it all works out. I mean, you think at this point they'd be like, no, we guard these people. Ooh, I just got another wing sword. <laughs> Just come back. Nope. Mm. 
No, that wyvern's going to be significant somehow. We have to save that wyvern, and then the wyvern's going to help us fly to some magic hidden city that the airship can't reach for some reason, or, or something like that. It's traditionally how it works. Well, we couldn't kill them with four of them, so we sent more! Two, do they? Ooh, guy just broke one thousand hit points. Oh no, we've been ambushed. What do we do? We've been ambushed. They got to hit us for a round. I actually very carefully should not gloat because that's just asking for like, oh look, and here's a boss that just one hits everyone. Considered a beast, because Layla's got a weapon that's supposed to do extra damage on beasts. Like it's literally called a werebuster. Defense, just blast away with ice. I'll take minuscule amounts of damage and won't fight. Why are you still up? shield. Defense 4, evasion 14. Def okay, so it's the same shield. We'll give it to her, because she's already got the diamond on. Should I double check? Did that change anything? Nope. And there we got monsters! More evil turtles. Okay. Lightning did five. We'll not be going with that again. So I'm just left wondering how much health these things have. There we 
we got one down finally. Like, they're not even doing heavy damage, it's just they're taking forever. Axel hold up and we got Knight's Armor, which you already have. Okay. So cool stuff, but nothing for me, unfortunately. On the one hand, I like that we just kind of had weapon options for how we wanted to go about it, but on the other hand, I can't help but notice that we have like eight weapon types and Three of our characters are permanent, there's no reason to teach them multiples. And with the guest party members, there's only so many weapons. And I think it's like literally staff, monk, spear, sword and dagger. Boss theme. Get your blood pumping. It's kind of this cool little Arabian Nights thing. Passed down. Okay, yeah, we're gonna get out of here. And come back in, because it was like the first floor that had three branching paths. And I don't want to climb up four floors of dungeon just so I can be like, alright, go back down a different direction. Alright, chat, am I going north or south for the path? One of them's gonna lead to more treasure chests, and the other one's gonna lead to the actual place I need to go. North it is! Thank you, Squeaks. As we now wait for Kitsu to be like south, just to be contrary. to say Maria has survived a lot better okay shiny object by itself so 
So it's that shallow in, huh? Do I check the hit? Yeah, no. Let's go to the, the path we have not taken yet. two ways this is going to work out. Either one, because of how fast and easy it was to get that pendant, we're supposed to immediately go back and talk to the dragon and then come back in here. Or two, there's the rest of this dungeon to explore for treasure and then we'll go back. So I am taking the risk that I'm going to be repeating myself in a minute. Okay, I remember walking by this area and there's some treasure chests, so it might actually just be there like, oh cool, this is the end of the path. Because I can't help but think this place is meant to be a treasure trove. Because it's not important in the sense of the story. Like we're not coming here because the ancient treasure is here or the the you know. <laughs> Yeah, I can see a jalapeno comparison. You know, we're not here because there is an ancient secret that we have to uncover. We're here because... The dragoons that might have lived fell back this way. And so we are out here to find a pendant, which we found. More jalapenos for you. It's because you said some kids win. They are offended by being called jalapenos. They are here for their revenge. Now the fire is not doing something. I have to wonder if that's because we're really strong. I think everyone has Mithril or better. Yeah. Um, if we're really stronger, the fact that all of us have ice shields means that we're actually dumbing down the fire damage. And those four, those packs of jalapenos might have actually been a really, really scary thing. Even though we just happened to, we wandered the wrong direction and bought all those shields. <laughs> She did damage that time. Not that time, though. Here's a fun question I'll ask if you happen to have stuff open. Do we know what the maximum weapon and magic skill is in this game? Like, because if it's 10, I'm actually getting close. Just like the max level you can get to, because like my guys are all at like level 8 or 7 weapon skill. Um, 
we are, for better or worse, only at like level four and five magic right now, but. Curiosity, what does the mage's staff do? It actually doesn't do much, alright. Fifteen or sixteen? Okay. So I have quite a ways to go. I was just curious on that. Because if it was 10, I was going to be like, maybe I am approaching the end of the game. Or the game is expecting a lot more variety and weapon use than I've been giving it. some cool things in some chests. So far, nothing that's making me think, like, I really had to come down this way. Other than, again, just completionist exploring, looking around. But. but now I'm, like, all careful not to, to leave paths unexplored since, you know, one of our unexplored paths turned out to be a whole village with new gear. shield This place is familiar to me. Remember if this place looks familiar to me or not now. This is going to make me go through too many things, so if I missed out on a cool treasure, I am sorry for missing out on a cool treasure, but... but I am going to head on back to the castle and see what the plotline is. Because I am all for going through the dungeon, but as soon as like I hit a trap door and it dropped me into the part I'd already explored, and it's like, okay, go all the way back up and all the way back down. 
If I end up having to do that for the plotline, I will endure it then. But if it really is just here's a treasure hall and a place to earn experience. Seek your aid in destroying the Empire, our common foe. Will you help us? The Empire's poison courses through my veins. I will not escape the fate that befell my brood. I have one request. Okay, so I do have to climb down the whole thing, but I needed this, so I'm glad I didn't go yet. Take this egg to the cavern north of here and submerge it in the life spring. It is the last remaining with an egg. If it is not submerged in the life spring soon, it will wither and die. You never revealed that was the name. Did we make a mistake here? Because I can just have it die over and over again. Again, this was a Nintendo game in the 89. So I give it so much props for trying to have this deep, poignant story. And then they just do something silly that just kind of yanks it away. Alright. Back north we go. With our egg in tow. Meanwhile, we get attacked by stalactites. Alright, if I remember right, we went all the way down and back up again. the north path because that one we didn't have a chance to go all the way through because there was a fake path fake out path meant to mess with you uh 988 really furion we're almost there but not quite Oh no, we did take this one and this is the pendant and all right. Really? No comment, Miss Kitsuin. path we need to take.
Oh, I just noticed the auto battle actually speeds it up a little bit too. That's nice. Well, hopefully for this point where I'm just kind of mauling my way through things, it'll work out. Why are you hissing at me? Not the fire attack. Anything but that. So this is the place that the, the bridge dropped me off of when I was trying to get to, so... Good to know. Oh, look, Furion's over a thousand too now. Our characters are going up in the world. Mithril gloves that we don't need. armor we don't need. Yay! Alright. So at least that narrows down where I'm going. I don't think I have any other blind paths. So I go back the way we came. And then I go take the path I took last time and I don't take the crap bridge that's going to drop us to our into a pit. And then it's going to go all the way up and around. You know, I remember the first time I encountered these, they were so scary, and now it's just like... It kinda is scary, but really we just punch it a lot. Of course, the first time I encountered it was when I was wandering around. It's in the very first stream. And this game has a weird little habit. A lot of future games have your transportation methods stopping you. So you can't wander into the wrong direction. This one doesn't. The uh, transportation methods prevent you from hitting like two places. You can't go to DS tier without the boat. You can't really, and you can't go to the snow cave without the snowmobile. But other than that, the only thing that stops you is the canoe. And you get the canoe like literally right away. Which has the result of the fact that you can wander in any direction you want. And looking at, knowing the map that I know now, I accidentally started wandering towards that place with the death chickens. And like, immediately got attacked by a hill gigas. When my characters all had like 100 hit points. And of course I was in the Japanese RPG mentality of, it's not that bad, let's just take a look. We would be able to encounter this if we couldn't handle it. Instantly kills three of my party members. So now it feels good to just smash these things down and take revenge. Ooh, giant helm. Alright, so we don't want to go there because it'll drop us into the pit the hole. So far, so good. Cross the bridge without death. I 
know, it's really funny about this game, and I just I don't know how much how much they borrow the layout structure. Um, but this feeling I'm having right now, where we're starting to become powerful, where we've we've broken a thousand hit points for several of our characters. This lines up in Final Fantasy IV, right around the time you're going to the Metal Cave. And uh, it's funny because you think you're on track to be getting near the end of stuff, or at least the at like a major plot point. And then you find out you're like only halfway through the game. I will again say, because I haven't said it this in a stream or two, I do like the fact that this end up not being nearly as scary a game to deal with mechanics-wise as I worried it would be. Um, I really did walk in kind of afraid of how this was going to work with the whole, you don't just level up. You swing weapons to get stronger, you use magic to get better stats there, you take damage to get health, you use mana to get magic. Like, it, it, it was one of those things where I'm like, how, how mean is this going to be? And instead it turns out to be relatively reasonable and I'm, you know, you just play the game and up it goes. All right. Instead of... I mean, this seems obvious, but let's go ahead and check all the doors. Aren't you guys nice? And then that fight was over. Okay. So that clearly looks like a boss. After egg. Again, you can speak to everything else, but not the dragon. Ooh, and there's four of them. This is a different boss battle. Like, have we hit a halfway point? You don't remember Chimeras with the whole goat, lion, dragon? Okay, that wasn't too bad. I unfortunately did not pay attention to make sure this wasn't healing or something. Okay, it is doing damage. Try a blizzard, because we don't know if blizzard will work or not. Okay, blizzard not as good as fire. Because I realized I accidentally auto attacked with all those commands, so. Oh, it won't hurt anything. My goal was to do a full-out attack round and see how uh, Layla and Furion did. Alright, so she's better off with magic and she's definitely better off with magic. Alright. 
Well, it doesn't matter because the fight's over. Move an egg! Bloop! And thus, Syndrome was born. The wyvern egg sinks gently to the bottom of the spring. <laughs> Bloop! What about Joseph? Uh, Alright. Well, I guess we're done here. Hey, Joseph valiantly stood there and fought a rock for us. Which is funny, because I remember you looked away from the stream when Joseph died. You came back and you're like, what, he's just dead? What a bum! And I'm like, no, he like saved the party and everything. And you're like, oh. I didn't watch that part. The wyvern's dead. The last living wyvern's dead, but the egg you placed in the spring remains. Someday it'll hatch, and the wyvern will spread its great wings and soar through the sky for the rebels. The Wyverns can't thank you for what you've done, so allow me to do so in their place. We are grateful. Alright, well, with lack of anything else to do, I guess we're heading back to Altair. I guess Lay Layla means it's time to take all of your gear. Well, that's nice of him. Yeah, I don't know what it is we need to do about Baji's bad behavior with, with trash and garbage there, but we'll need to figure out something. Baji is our healer mix. He is kind of a little bum. Definitely not going all the way back around. Honestly, we kind of have that. The problem is, is the second box upstairs. I just realized this might not be a might be a horrible idea, but we'll find out. Oh no, it works. Okay, so we want right there. And as a complete side note, can we take a brief detour to see if we can just smash the snot out of those? B drills. For for what it's worth, Squeak, this is the area you start the game in. It's just 
faster for me to try and run along the land than it is to try and sail the boat north around and through a bunch of little areas, so... I accidentally walked the wrong way. So, hence the just mowing through things, because... The only reason I'm fighting is because there is a chance for Runaway to fail. And then you just stand there wasting time while all the enemies get to attack you, so it becomes faster to just do this. And you get a little bit of gold for it, nothing major, but... You got about 200 gold out of that. I'm gonna check real quick as I stumble around if the boat is here to ride back to the other town. Unlike some of the Final Fantasy games, this one actually has a reasonable number of things. There's the airship, there's the boat. Yep, I am interested in going to Paloom. And this completely separate ship from the one I got from Layla will escort me down to the town closest to the capital, or not the capital, but the rebel base. And then a random goblin jumps out at us because they have no survival instinct. Town is under destruction from it. Yep. Uh, I'll go ahead and take everything off, but I'd already dumped her to, to lesser gear. But thank you for the reminder. This is the Rebel Alliance squeak. This is the guy that was with us. Hild has been acting very strangely lately. I've tried to speak to her, but all she does is laugh. Could the King's death have disturbed her? I, I don't know what I can do to help her. Would you try speaking to her for me? Therian, there's something I would like to discuss with you. We'll be waiting outside. <laughs> 1989 game for kids <laughs> come to me Fabian. did I nod in agreement or did y your highness why are you just standing there I don't enjoy being teased um Now you're mine, Firion. What have you done to the princess? That's the fastest scurvy snake. <laughs> Unfortunately, she's completely unequipped with items, so... Let's hope lightning bolts do something. Okay, so let's start off with some decent protections here. <laughs> Our friend will die a virgin! Wait! Come back later! That was to not work. Lovely. Yeah, 
think she's dead. Of course, the annoying part there is that I was going to use her with her lack of equipment to punch Guy awake. Oh well. The last pirate chick we sort of knew. Layla, just how much of that did you see? Enough to know you shouldn't be laying your god down around fetching young ladies, I'd say. We're a real princess. I have terrible news! We've just heard a tournament is being held in Palamecia, and Princess Hilda is the prize! We're coming with you. I, I want to help rescue Hil Hilda. Don't worry, I know just how you feel, Captain. Me and my boys will manage the army. I run a tight ship, no need to fret over us. So we're taking Gordon back, who didn't need to leave the party in the first place. And leaving the pirate in charge of the army! I'm at a loss for how that's a good idea. Okay, so real quick, did he keep his stats I gave him? Yes, he did. So we are not giving you a spear. We are giving you that werebuster again. Where to go? Twelve thirty. I have enough time to go a little bit further. Let's go ahead and get ourselves topped off to full health. try and go make it back to my boat, but I don't think so. I think we're going to take a flight and then take a chocobo. Hiccup of walking into town in one direction and then you're on the other side. back to the airship. Do I get free airship rides yet? Nope. Apparently I did not get free airship rides yet. Alright, we're going to Kashan. Yeah, I did save your life, dude. The six step process to go somewhere. Yep, so this is the last place on the map. Other than there is a tower here, which I'm pretty sure is what that black mask and the then the mention finding a white mask and a crystal, so. After whatever nonsense goes here, the next playthrough we pick up will be over here, and that will essentially be the, the map, so...
And then it just becomes a question of what the next storyline is. Because I don't feel like I'm at the end end. But the same thing, uh, same time, I don't know what else is coming. Yeah, I kind of figured. May you fight well this day. To the victor goes Hilda, Princess of Finn. You just run away. Is it stomping towards you? You're just kind of like... Oh, it's the behemoth! I thought those were wings. All right! Behemoth time it is! Iconic Final Fantasy monster. As a fun side note, this would be its first appearance. Alright, so fire and ice. We're doing... Nope, that does less her magic, so we don't we do want to stick with the magic. It's a good it's a good critter. Just like big hulking scary thing. On the other hand, I don't know what this fight's gonna lead to if it doesn't have any special attacks, because Yeah, I would say it's it's pretty much alright, I got blink and protection up. Fought. Now let us give you your just reward. This is your chance to slay the Emperor. Here is your reward. A reward befitting a rebel, Therian. How about I fight my way out because I have no ability to not... Hey buddy! I haven't seen you in forever! It's the thief from the first chapter. Lights out! Do we lose Garden? He joins my team now? I'll get you out of here before they catch you. Looks like we have a... Okay, it's a big wide open room, not a... I can't tell if these are their encounters here, or if it's just an open area. There's a chest. Oh, more chests. My first elixir! Really? We got this dude, brought him here, had one fight with him, and then... Well, I just unequipped him for a monster fight, so... Oh, this is easy. We dealt with you things in the tropical islands we weren't supposed to go into yet. Okay. 
I realize she's still defaulting to fire instead of combat. Fought a swarm of monsters for an antidote. Did I already go in here? Yes, I did. Okay. Here's some new fights. Oh, I just realized these are the guys that were guarding the original town that were like nightmare scary. We're actually taking them on. Yay! shouldn't be out without your tanks. New things we don't recognize. Aw, oh, man. Is that a map? Has this been here the whole time? I could have actually been looking at things and figuring stuff out. Instead of looking at the little map in the corner and trying to... good to know the terrifying beast that was guarding the sacred magical pool. Apparently there's just more of them wandering around. You told me to use the map. I thought you just meant paying attention because it does show you um, treasure chests. They're just the same color as the map. Princess Hilda, hold on, we'll get you out of there. And no more sleeping with me. Are you alright, Hilda? Golden, I never thought to see you here. Golden, take the princess and go. We'll draw the guard's attention while you escape. Thank you, Furion. Be careful. And by will draw their attention, you go first. And then there were three of us. You guys go first, we'll draw their attention. Now we all be really quiet. Because let's face it, so far we've led this rebellion. So clearly, we'll be fine. And we can escape while they distract. Okay, is that a giant eyeball or a mouth? 
I asked based on the name. It says it's a parasite. Jack Septic. Yeah, I can see it. Should ask him. Were you a fan of Final Fantasy II, Sean? Is that where it came? Where the Septic guy came from? Please don't let Al. I say, please don't let him kill us all. All right, now we're back here. Can we go in here? Nope. Okay. I just realized something sad. Actually, I just realized something terrifying. Oh no. This place smashed me last time. I don't know if that I'm okay now. But, uh... We don't have an escape route. And I don't know what we do. No, so until birds up here. I'm going towards it now. That's where we're going. Versus the red arrow down there is us. But looking at the big map here, you can also see what I meant about like we've now been everywhere. Like we accidentally found this city. There's something inside here, obviously. No, it won't, but these things massacred me. And, uh, actually, I was going to fight that one, but... And they're very, very dangerous, and I don't know if I'm strong enough to handle them. With, okay, with only two of them here, I will give it a try and see how it goes, because I'm pretty sure, yeah, we'll take out the, the ant line right away. Okay, so they have a paralyzing hit. But they only did like 40 damage and two hits kills them. Okay, so. So now we're okay. Save and try is a good idea. I keep forgetting about it because originally the game was not so favorable to saving. Saving essentially was only in inns and towns and if you wasted a 2,000 gold item. Um, and obviously that's not the case now. You can save wherever you want, but. I tend to forget. But either way, we found out we could fight them, and we got to Chocobo. Now I guess we go all the way back to Altera, I'm assuming. This Kitsu is very fond of the Upwaddle. Sadly, Chocobos cannot canoe. First things first, in. You know what's really terrifying about that song you're quoting, Kitsuin? 
that song came out in July of 2001. And I bet you, if you're like me, you remember it like it wasn't that long ago. It came out in 2001, and what it talks about, uh, aside from just the Final Fantasy jokes in general, as I realize this entire place is empty. Is there anyone? No? Oh, Alright. Um, but it talks about the brand new Final Fantasy coming on the brand new PlayStation 2. Oh, wait, there's a guy to talk to. I imagine I'm going to that weird camp by the bridge that I paused. The rebel army has arisen! Our first move will be to retake Castle Finn. They pitched a camp nearby. You should go there immediately. You guys didn't get out that far ahead of us. How are you? We escaped at the same time, but somehow we made it back, raised an army, and set up a camp. I don't think it's graphics by Wong Chu either, <laughs> but um, music's by Nobu, who is the one that's been famous recently because he's uh, the one who had cancer and didn't tell anyone, and so just uh, worked his butt off creating games for um, Final Fantasy XIV's Endwalker. We're taking back the castle! Wait, we've reached the enemy gates! Now what do you need me for? Okay, we don't go into the cave. Right. You ought to be the heart of our attack. When we hold the bulk of the forces at bay, you'll slip in and kill the Castellan. Firion, Maria, Guy, I owe you my life. Go fight the castle for us. It would appear you also deserve credit for destroying the Dreadnought. Oh, you were captured. I'm like, why is that coming up now. Now where we try and figure out Let's go attack a castle. Wow. Good you. Save the world again, right here in my own den. Hopefully I get through the game just fine. You don't want to be hacking your way into the enemy territory without me. I am kind of afraid to equip you with anything, but... No, we're just not going to worry about it. Funny part, she still remembers to cast thunder from like 40 battles ago. to know the brains have 100 mana and 240 health.
rebels here? Where are my soldiers? No, it can't be. This this was all a trap. You're sitting here. How? There's the old boss music. Okay, that hit hard. Times like this, I wish I had learned slow. He's gonna glitch and he'll just continue to make himself faster and faster while we murder him. Yep. Now the real question is, was this a dangerous fight that I lucked through? Like, uh, Tony fighting the Dark Elf? Yeah, it's kind of a pig demon there, I noticed. You defeated the enemy commander! It's so good to finally be back. This would never have been possible had we not worked together. I thank you all. I can't move. Okay, now I can. So I haven't clicked out. Let's see. It's so good to be finally. All right. So all right. one thing still troubles me: Minwoo left from Mesidia. We have not heard from him since. It pains me to ask this of you so soon after winning back our castle. Would you go to Mesidia? Mesidia is a land of mages. Without the aid of their magic, defeating the Emperor will not be easy. I heard that a spell, sometimes referred to as the ultimate magic, lies in the Mesidian Tower. Obtaining it requires two masks. The white mask rests beneath this very castle. Oh, good. You must recite an incantation to open the door that leads below. The words Ekmet Telos have been passed down from antiquity. Forgive me, I don't know the door's location. We could never have taken the castle, but Minu hasn't come back. Yeah, I already learned that. Alright, so we got the hint to go find Paul, the greatest cook in the world. Is that necessary every time I go to talk to you? confess I just took the straight path here because I figured we we're gonna have to reclaim this place which means we'd be able to just uh, wander around without problems although apparently <laughs> note I should have gunned for them first jeez
is a fairly nasty set of monsters in this chest. things. Alright, so that'll hopefully get her out of it, but not before she pummels me some more. And then he just murders her. Yay! Why is she still not... Okay, I have no idea how confusion works in this game, because it's supposed to be physical damage fixes it. Got a bunch of aura tomes, whatever that is. All right, what is aura? Enhances effectiveness against various enemy types when used in battle. Sounds like it forces a weakness here. Alright, but it is just shy of midnight, or one in the morning rather. So I am going to go ahead and quick save. Uh, confirming here HP 1208, 1001, 1331, 713. So that there is no concern of tampering or playing in between the lines. Uh, but I will thank you all for joining me. And we will be coming back to Final Fantasy II at least once more this week. And we're still trying to kind of hammer out a even schedule. But once we do, then it's going to be kind of a back and forth between the Pixel Remasters and Final Fantasy XIV, which I have not forgotten about, and we are just kind of waiting for the right moment to be able to dive back into that. But in any event, uh, thank you all for joining me, and I will see you all next time on Pixel Plays, where we'll... See if we can't find Paul and find out where the secret white mask is. And thankfully, we've already accidentally taken care of getting the black one. Have a good evening, guys. <laughs>